In today's Bite Size CPD, we are looking at whether your school can develop a how are you times two culture. So by how are you times two, what I'm talking about in case you have missed it and you may well have, um, so time to change around this campaign um, saying that we shouldn't just ask how are you once, we should ask twice because sometimes it's the second time uh, when we really get to the heart of what's going on with someone. Uh, they ran a very strange campaign with squirrels and men in woods um, but the point being that we all know there's this like social tick isn't there, we kind of go how are you? I'm fine. How are you? Fine. It's a bit like you learn when you're a kid in your French lessons like ça va, oui ça va bien, ça va. I don't even know what it means you just kind of say it right um, and yeah so how are you doesn't really mean anything anymore and so this question is should we develop a culture where we actually ask and answer the question how are you with an intent to having a genuine conversation around how in fact we are rather than it just being this social nicety. So we're going to explore that a little bit, have a bit of a discussion and then you can decide whether or not this is something that as a school you want to take forward as a change to your culture. So the first question is does it matter that when we say how are you that we don't really mean it? Like is there a need for us to be more honest in our asking and answering of this question? So have a moment just to think about that together to discuss that. Okay, so if you decided that it doesn't matter, then probably just stop now, really. Um, if you think that maybe there is some benefit to asking and answering the question, how are you, in a more honest way, um, where we actually ask the question with an intent to hearing a genuine answer, and we answer honestly as well, um, then I guess the next question is, is this something we can and we should do with our pupils, and how would we make that work? Okay, and then next, same question but about staff. Is this something that we can and should do with staff, having this more how are you attitude? Is this something you want to be able to ask and answer with each other more honestly? Would you like to be able to go into the staff room and say to someone in passing how are you and for them to give you an honest answer? Is this something that would be good or not? Okay, and then finally, and I think this is a trickier one, what about if we try and develop this culture of how are you times two, where we ask how are you twice and we genuinely want an answer, um, what about when a pupil asks a member of staff how are you? Should a member of staff be expected to answer honestly to a pupil about how they're doing? What would be the pros and cons of us being more honest with our pupils about how we are? Okay, so you've had a think together as a staff about how are you times two and whether we should be kind of trying to change our culture around how we ask and answer the question, how are you? Um, and I want you now just to have a think about whether this is something you want to act on. Would you like to change your culture around how are you? And if so, what are going to be your next steps in order to make this happen? Good luck. I hope the video was helpful. I hope it gave you some food for thought. I'd love to hear how you got on. Please do leave comments down below with your ideas, thoughts, suggestions, experiences and so on. And please subscribe to be kept up to date with my videos which come out every Tuesday and Friday. Thanks for watching. Bye.